Hold on, man. I'm adjusting the camera. Hey, you don't pay me enough for this. Okay, listen here, small timer. Eight dollars an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Alexander Hamilton, and today we have very special guests for you, like Nexpo, Mama Max, Nick Crowley, Night Docs, J Boss TV OK, and Aiden Elliott. We've come all the way down to South Texas to explore the one, the only, Raising Cane's Chicken Finger. So, you're probably asking yourself, why Raising Cane's? Well, let's start from the beginning. It all started on a Monday morning, 75 degree high with clear skies. I go about my routine. I wake up, brush my teeth, shower, have my hot cup of black coffee, and I sit at my computer, beginning my detective research for the day. However, that day was clearly different. I rarely get a flood of the same suggestions in my Hotmail inbox. It's usually full of spam and bunches of people directing me to urban legends that you can clearly tell are fake. <laughs> Gosh, amateurs, right? Though, on that day, I got an overwhelming amount of email from regular fans and internet celebrities alike, all talking about an apparent enigma, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. I don't understand. To me, Raising Cane's has always seemed like such a generic chicken place, like come on. You can't tell me with a straight face that it's any better than the likes of Chick-fil-A or Popeyes. <laughs> but quite a few people think so. Some of them even talk about raising canes to a ridiculous degree, as if they're some kind of god. Nation for this, so I came to the conclusion that I should try out raising canes for myself down in good old Texas, where the grass is brown and the people are in love with dying. So, fine then. What is Raising Cane's to you? Raising Cane's to me is um, just phenomenal food, honestly. Raising Cane's is the most delicious chicken on the face of the planet. There is no other chicken on earth that surpasses it. Those chickens died well to end up in my tummy. I think Raising Cane's is almost like a lifestyle. Like, most people look at it as a chicken restaurant, but, you know, once you've had it, two three hundred times like me and most of the other brethren have it's it, it, it's something you can't live without a chicken restaurant one chicken restaurant and many chicken restaurants because it really seems like there's been an evolution in the chicken market um i don't know if you've heard there's another place called slim chickens um, and then there's also this other one called Bird Call, but there's just these chicken franchises that are just popping up everywhere. But there's obviously one that's kind of the best of them all. Raising Cane's, man, it's a fucking inspiration, dude. I mean, every time I go there, it's like nice comfort food that you would get from like a grandma or like, you know, it has like that kind of vibe. Kind of like, like, like a lot of chicken places try to emulate that, but Raising Cane's really fulfills that um, sense of home. It seems as if these personalities only have universal praise for the restaurant. Would Raising Cane's be your first choice on a night out? Oh, 100%, nothing matches that peppery, buttery, smooth, Worcestershire sauce that, that you slather your chicken all over. It's like they never seem to give you enough. It's like they give you one tub for your meal and how is that even enough? It's just no contest. Uh, like Raising Cane's, like the, the tiers are Raising Cane's like way at the top and then 
few steps below it, you got Chick-fil-A, and then right below that, it's like Popeyes, and then you got your, you know, like chicken strips from Whataburger and the McDonald's nuggets and all that, and then like way at the bottom is, it's just KFC, bro, it just doesn't match up. Simply delicious. It is ambrosia. What kind of other restaurants exist? Explain to me that, what? There are no other restaurants. There is Raising Cane's. The only chicken that is worthy of my palate comes from Raising Cane's. Zaxby's is kind of up there, but uh, nothing really compares to Cane's. Raising Cane's is like the just pinnacle of, you know, good food and all that. So I don't know. I, I just think it's, it, it's just no contest. Best goddamn chicken in the game, man. So I've heard. I don't live around here, man. I, I live in New York. I've never been there, so. But so I've heard best damn chicken in the game. Going like at least 20 minutes without Raising Cane's induces withdrawal symptoms within me, so uh, it's just not something I go without anymore. And, and the taste is just there. Like, the taste is better than Mother's Cook. It's better than anything you ever experienced, to be honest with you. Cane's burning blood flows through my veins. I am Raising Cane's incarnate. Nine days out of the week, I would go to Raising Cane's. I would say I would prefer it over anything that I've ever had in my life. If I'm thinking of like a really good lunch that I want to get that can keep me going, energize me, get me going throughout the day, um, I know like Cane's is a place to go. I remained intrigued but impatient with them. I wanted answers. I need to figure out the secrets behind this religious praise. I need to get straight to the point. When I got online and first started doing research for Raising Cane's, there were a lot of people religiously praising the restaurant. Do you know anything about that? Listen right here. Raising Cane's deserves all the praise it gets, okay? Listen here, you blasphemous little profligate. Cane's will not quietly tolerate such perverted questions that have disgracefully escaped your mouth on this day. Keynes has really changed my view of uh, everything, like science, medicine, religion, all of it. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of, it's its own thing, you know? Like, do you understand what I'm saying? It's Raising Cane's, all right? I live and breathe this Raising cane stuff, okay? Like, you, you gotta understand, these chicken fingers, they're not just chicken fingers, okay? They're completely different. They come from heaven. They don't even come from this planet. And you're trying to compare it to, like, McDonald's or, like, other, you know, disgusting pieces of trash? It's Raising Cane's. You gotta have respect. There's nothing better in the world than Raising Cane's, okay? My only sole purpose in life is eating Raising Cane's. And I just want you to know that... If it didn't exist, things just wouldn't be the same. We fear what we often don't understand. And once you taste the chicken of Cane's, your mind clears, the world envelops you, all of humanity operates on the same frequency and it all comes together when you taste that chicken. You're stepping into something that you don't understand. <laughs> that none of you understand. Well, it's obvious. It's completely obvious. Have you opened your eyes yet? It's that hot, fresh, moist chicken. Nothing compares. It doesn't make any sense how they get it so moist. It awakens an inner being. It allows you to fully realize your potential. Every single day, I can hear it. Every single moment, I am awakened. I just don't understand why you're questioning my love for Raising Cane's. Like, you're, you're acting like I'm just this religious nutjob, when in reality, this is the one true path to righteousness. Like, if you don't eat Raising Cane's, you're gonna burn in internal hell. Like, this is the best chicken that you have ever had in life. And I'm not just saying that to you, I'm saying that to the people watching the video, okay? This is the greatest food to have ever existed. To treat it like it's just some crazy religious nut jobs is out of your mind. You listen up. Down here, all we eat is can What are they talking about? What do their ramblings mean? I don't get it.
Explain, damn it, explain. Why raising canes? What is this? I can't wait to share it with you. For us to share it with you so that you can understand, so you can really dig deep into canes. I'm not accepting any raising canes nonsense, okay? I will run a jihad. Your fetid ashes shall litter our hands. And when canes rises again, you will finally know that it is good. And so it is written. I just thought that it was good. Raising canes, which I was eating, these other chickens are different. और मेरी आखिरी चीज अगर मैं मरने से पहले कुछ भी करूंगा मैं ये चिकन हर बंदे हर बच्चे हर औरत के अंदर ठूस के रख लूंगा और अगर नहीं करूंगा तो साले मैं मरने से पहले तुम्हारे मुंह के अंदर तुम्हारे घर ढूंढ के तुम्हारे बिल्कुल ठूस के रख लूंगा ये चिकन इट्स द फकिंग चिकन इट्स लीन डिलीशियस पोल्ट्री आई नीड द लीन चिकन आई नीड इट इन माय बोन्स सॉस व्हाई डोंट यू फकिंग जस्ट लाइक ऑल द अदर्स just like everyone else, a cog in the machine. If you can't accept the truth, then I'm sorry, but it's, it's too late for you. I mean, it's chicken, dude. I mean, I'm not praising any chicken. I'm just eating it, you know? The questions are a little bit weird. Unless there's something else you need from me, man, I'm gonna... I'm gonna see my... Shit! Shit! Oh, shit! Oh, eat it! Eat the chicken! Eat the chicken! <laughs> See what they mean.